Hey there YouTube viewers, Rosie the Rose Girl here and I wanted to try something a little different tonight. First off, if my voice sounds wonky tonight it's because I have severe cotton mouth and no matter how much I drink or what I do to try and moisten my lips and my mouth, I can't moisten up so I have very se severe cotton mouth and dry throat and dry lips and it's bad but I still want it to record so this is a story that I wrote July 10th 2016 right now it's July 15th 2016 and it's a it's an original story I wrote it myself I got bored Sunday night and just decided to do it it was raining outside and I just wanted to do it and since it's so short, I wanted to just record it and see what people thought if they take a chance and actually view this video because right now I'm not getting very many views. So with that being said, here we go. <clears throat> it was the scariest thing I think I ever saw. I've read about them in fake publications, seen documentaries and news stories on them, and have heard stories about them in videos on YouTube, but I never thought I would actually see one. It was one of those things that you never thought would happen to you, and it's not as if I was really looking for it. I wasn't looking for anything that night but something to drink. I wasn't looking for the thing I saw. I'm a manager in one of the biggest hospitals in Seattle. When I pictured living out west, Seattle wasn't exactly where I wanted to go. As it turns out, though, a very lucrative position was offered to me and I took it. My children and I uprooted from the deep south and we headed to the land of Jimi Hendrix, Hart, Queensryche, and Nirvana. I had a high-rise apartment and we enjoyed living up there. One particular night, it was unusually hot out for Seattle and I couldn't sleep. I got out of bed sputtering and cussing because I just found my comfy spot in bed. Thirst happened to win out over comfort though and I needed a cold drink. As I trudged through my luxury digs from the bedroom to the kitchen, I tried to ignore the bright light peeking through the closed Venetian blinds of my patio. The light seemed to almost pulse right through me, though. Curiosity made me part my blinds to find out the source of that light. At first, I thought it was maybe a helicopter or something, but this thing didn't look like a helicopter. My two teen daughters came in and peeked through the blinds as well. We all looked on in both horror and amazement as a huge hexagon-shaped craft hovered over the city. It just sat there in the sky, never wavering, never faltering, never moving. As we looked on, I saw some of our neighbors emerge from their homes to see if this thing was real. It was pretty high up, but seemed as if it were close enough to touch. I wanted to look away from the brightness of the light, but that thing had us spellbound. I could not believe it was real. None of us could. I refused to step outside, though. Call me a coward, but the damn thing was scary, and I was not curious enough to see it from out in the open. I kept looking at my watch to make sure there was no lapse in time. I've always heard that sometimes time is lost when UFOs are seen, and I wanted to make sure there was no gap in time. Thank God there wasn't one. The whole time the thing was there, it seemed as if the whole city stood still. And I wondered if my neighbors, my kids, and I were the only ones who saw it. It was too big not to be seen. Honestly, I almost expected something to emerge from it to make some kind of telepathic declaration or something. My heart pounded seemingly in my throat, and I just wanted it to leave. I know we all had to be scared. I heard gasps and sobs coming from the other witnesses. And I subconsciously heard our puppy whimpering and cowering in a corner of the living room. Poor baby. My daughters and I were too shocked to do anything, though. All we could really do was stare. 
Suddenly, though, as we all looked on, the craft started to rise up even higher. It then zipped off into the stars. Just as suddenly as it seemed to appear, it was gone. Quicker than the blink of an eye, faster than the snap of a finger, it was just gone. I think we all took collective sighs of relief when it disappeared with seemingly no threat to the public at large. The reactions of those who chose to speak out on the strange sighting was the same as mine and my children's. Whatever the hell that thing was, none of us wanted to see who or what was piloting it. And that's the end of the story, you guys. So if you want to hear more stories like that, because I do have another idea for another short story similar to that one. So if you want to hear anything else like that, just let me know. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in the, in the, bleh, <laughs> sorry, the next upload. Bye.